Hello everyone. Today I am doing a little bit different type of video. I am doing a um, nursery tour and really more of a um, showing all of my collection because like I've mentioned I have quite a large collection of um, reborns and silicone dolls and even have some porcelain and clay dolls. But today um, for this part of the video, I'm going to be making two videos. I'll just be showing um, mostly my most of my reborns that I have. So we'll go ahead and get started. Here is, if I can get a wide shot, here is a, the crib, and I keep a lot of reborns in here. I have moved some over to the drawers over here because they won't fit, like, the show as I'm filming, and you won't be able to see them. So I will start here, and I have quite an obsession with Saskia Sculpt. Uh, Y'all will see that. I have, a, currently I have five Saskias. Um, and I'm thinking about selling one, so if y'all are interested, please let me know. So here is the first Saskia right here, and I named her Bella, which means beautiful. She has rooted human hair and up in pigtails, as you can see there. And I um, repainted her. She came very pale to me, so I repainted her, and I did not root her hair. Also, beside her is Victory, and she's... Um, african-american she's a really beautiful girl i did not paint her and the artist i cannot remember the artist's name she was off of um ebay and look at her she has like golden eyes they're really pretty and she has gorgeous hair painted hair i mean it looks actually like it's rooted but it's not it's painted so there's victory and i named her that to remind us that we all have victory in christ so she's my little one of my inspirational babies named her Victory. And I don't know if you get the theme, but with most of my Saskia's here, they all have pearl bracelets on. Cause that's like their thing. And here is a little girl, her name is Porcelain Rose, that I have, um, I'm considering putting her up for sale. I did not make her. She was made by um, Andrea Percelli. I will have to get this spelling of her name. And she has a few different um, names she goes by also. So she is really gorgeous. She has a very pale skin tone, but it's just gorgeous. That's why I call her Porcelain Rose, because she's her skin looks like porcelain. And here is her face. She's got very big glass eyes. They're dark, super dark blue, but they're coming up black on here. And I can see her, if you can see her modeling. She's got beautiful modeling. She has beautiful, um, very soft, rooted hair like a pale blonde. Like I said, she could almost pass for an albino child, baby. She's really pretty. Her name's Porcelain Rose. Now, I do have some Arsaskias, but they're over on the table, so I'll show you them in a few minutes. And here's one of my um, alternative babies. There you go. I named him Drago, and he's a dragon, a dinosaur, whatever you kind of like him to be. He was painted by Michelle's um, babies not me another artist on um she's on facebook i believe and his signature thing is he always wears his little nikes which i keep those on him and she did a great job on him he has really cool eyes he's like a yellow orange color with modeling and his eyes are that yellow color so he's a cutie and here right here is uh, my Galaxy Twins. I did a video on them recently. And this is the girl. Her name is Luna. And she has, uh, they both have galaxies um, painted on them. They were made by Lacey Molson and she is on Facebook. She just made a beautiful clown that she is up for sale. So go look for her if you wanna get one of her beautiful creations. And that's the girl. Here's the boy. This is Laddie. He has the full moon on him. And he has those following eyes that... Let's see if I can get him to do it. See it? If you move the camera, he'll follow your eyes. And here, back here is... I have a few... I have three reborns that were made to be like my son at different ages. Here's a toddler one. Um, he's a Spanifel baby sculpt that's been retired. So this is my son when he was like two years old. I did paint him. And he has a wig. He's got big brown eyes like my son. There he is. 
And here is my another sculpt that's after my son. He was made by Kinderland Dolls. This one here in front of you. And he's my son, like, when he's a little bit older. He has a little older look to his face. He also has brown eyes. I love these darlings because they're after my son. And here is the other one that is that I actually painted after my son. And he doesn't look as good as some of my babies now, but he was one of my first babies that I painted. And he's my son as a newborn. He is the Andy Awake Sculpt Cradle um, Baby Sculpt. There he is, and I gave him painted hair. It's a little bit of my, a boo-boo baby, but he is after my son as a newborn. I didn't make him long, long time ago. And here is the Grinch. He is the Fei Yin Sculpt. I did make him. He's inspired by Twisted Beanstalk's work. And I did, I sculpted a um, snout. Oh, goodness. It's clay. I have to be careful because he's fragile in a snout. I sculpted that nose and snout on him. That is clay, and he's from the Fagin Sculpt. So I usually make these around Christmas time, so if you're interested in a custom of a Grinch, just let me know. And I did root a mohawk on him. I can seem to root mohawks, but I can't really root anything else for some reason. And here is, her hair's messed up. Here is the Poppet Sculpt, and I can't remember the artist, but it's a, it's a high-end artist. And I did not paint her either. She's really cute. She was made by the same, um, artist Andrea that made uh, this little girl over here she's really cute she's a ginger and she has most beautiful green eyes there's Poppet oh. and I kept her name the same Poppet this baby here was made by um, Erin or better known as Candy Love Sparkle and she's just so unique I don't know if you can see how she's a big baby she's a um, Ping Lao sculpt, I can't remember the sculpt, but um, she's made to look like an old antique doll that is leather like, perhaps and I always imagine she was left on the trail of tears by a little girl that dropped her and she is just adorable, she, she's smiling and she has her baby there, and again she was made by Candy Love Sparkle she's got rooted hair it's sticking out everywhere she's little moccasins on and some of these babies, unfortunately, still have their Christmas clothes on. I have not had time to change them, so excuse that. I will be changing them. And I think I did settle on a name for her because I was having trouble. I think I settled on a little fawn for her name. Now I'm going to move to the table or the dresser that I have my other, some of my other reborns on. Um, here is a Saskia, and this is a boy. And these two twins were made, I'll have to get the name, they were made by a, a very kind lady on eBay, and she's no longer making dolls anymore, or collecting. Um, he is a ginger, as you can see, he has beautiful green eyes, and his little eyebrows, and he's got great hair here. And I put them in their, some of their outfits that they came with, these sweaters, his vintage clothes, I love to dress my baby in vintage clothes. His name is Cedric, after my grandfather, because... My grandfather had that kind of look with the light hair and eyes. And here is his sister, Hazel, made by the same artist. And she has very dark brown eyes. And I love how these babies are painted. They're actually painted to look, to me, like kind of antique. And they're beautiful. They're sort of a dress and sweater. And like I said, her name was Hazel after my grandmother. Oh, here we go. And I made this baby. This is a Cheyenne sculpt. She's made, she's actually made her for my husband, and she's after Mary, the mother of Jesus, and she has her rosary she's holding there in her christening gown. And here next to her is my little Indian baby. He was made by um, Stephanie Ortiz um, in Love with Reborns, 2012. That's her name on um, YouTube. So. Um, the outfit, I actually was really lucky, and I got this outfit off of um, eBay, and his name is, I think I've decided to name him Big Thunder. I haven't necessarily decided on his name yet, and he's a pretty boy, and I cannot remember his sculpt either. Sorry, guys. Here is his sister. She's laying down. She's a twin A. She was made by Julie Zane. Um... 
Okie okay, Reborn. Okie okay, Babies. And she's adorable. She has real root of human hair. That's also, um, Joey told me about, she thought the hair was by, I think, a Cherokee. I know it's a Native American lady donated her hair. So her hair is from a, a um, Indian lady, Native American lady. She's sucking her thumb, and I named her Raven, as you can see on her bracelet. And I found this outfit along with the other one that I just showed you. And that is beautiful. They're doll, they were supposed to be doll outfits, but someone handmade these. I think they're gorgeous. So I got them for a great price. So we're moving down. Show my beanstalk babies. Oh, let's see. Here is the Joey sculpt. As y'all can tell, y'all know this. His name is Jojo. I named him Jojo. He was made by Twisted Beanstalk. I'm sure y'all fans of hers can tell that. You can see his eyes, how his eyelashes are painted. They are so adorable. And he actually has a lot of modeling on him, but it's not really coming out on the camera. But his modeling is beautiful. Let's see his eyebrows. You can see his eyebrows. And he normally does not sit on the drawers. I just have him. He's usually in the crib. But I couldn't have set him in there because you wouldn't be able to see him the way he would be facing. Here's another um, Twisted Beanstalk baby. This is Beanie St. Basil. And look at those eyes. And he's beautiful. He's a preemie size. Little munchkin. And you can see both her babies, she sends them with adorable things. She sends them with these hats. And she has a special name for that, and I can't remember. I'm sure y'all, I think they're like toques or something. I mean, I might be wrong, but those are her special hats she sends them with. So there's them too. And I'll just show a couple more dolls out of my collection, because I'm going to take another video. This is my stuffed animal rabbit that's jointed. My mom actually made this for me when I was a little girl. So I'm saving her for my nursery now. And she has a diaper and everything. Cloth diaper. And here is my one um, baby alive. She's the old type of baby alive with a soft face. And she's going to pass in right now. I took her batteries out because I'm not really using her. And here I'll just show you a quick overview of the rest of my nursery. But I'll show you these babies um, later. I have a silicone down here. And and have some reborns in there in the bassinet. It's the bottom of the bassinet with all their accessories. And there's a few more babies over here in the cradles. The ones that are covered in my silicones. Here are my two masterpiece dolls and a little blonde I do have for sale at the moment. So if you're interested in her, please let me know. I don't know how I'll mail her, but I'll figure out a way. Um, I'm not going to show you other babies. There's some more babies on the chair. And then over here is... Uh, Oh gosh, pack and play. And these are some of the dolls I have for sale or for gifts. Here's some clothes for the big babies and a stuffed animal. So that's pretty much it. And over here in this beside the crib is a wicker bassinet that has all my custom um, doll clothes and things for the babies. So I will make another video soon. And because this one's getting too long and it's going to cut me off. Um, thanks for watching and you're always in my prayers.